Hey guys, I'm back here and welcome to episode number 15 of Gamers Digest. This week's going to be a very, very Call of Duty intensive news week. That's because Call of Duty XP just ended and basically the news has been dominated by Call of Duty. Which is pretty cool for me because I'm really interested in Call of Duty. You guys might not like it. There hasn't really been too much gaming news other than Dead Island coming out this week. So really other than that, Dead Island came out this week and Call of Duty news. So this is going to be a Call of Duty based show. If you don't like that, you might want to click off this video right now. And, uh, yeah, next week should have a little bit more gaming news. I haven't heard too much from Battlefield, other than the uh, Caspian Border trailer that I've already covered. So, hopefully they bring out some more Battlefield 3 multiplayer info, but, um, as of now, this is what I know about Call of Duty, and I hope you guys enjoy. First thing is the killstreaks, and there's going to be a lot of killstreaks in Modern Warfare 3. There's three different sets of killstreaks. You have Assault, Specialist, and Support. Now, the Assault Killstreaks are going to be the ones you're the most familiar with. They're pretty similar to what you've already seen. There's a few few new ones, like the IMS. I'm not really 100% sure what that's going to be. The Stray Front should be pretty cool. Five attack helicopters coming in, raping everything. Little Bird Guard, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a tiny little attack helicopter that follows you around, or something uh, something of the sort. And I don't really know too much information on this. I just know what they're called. Uh, I, I think that's what it's going to be. And then the last sort of new Killstreak that's not... Uh, I don't know, not just a redo of something else that's somewhat similar, is the Juggernaut. You can actually get armor from a care package. That's that's pretty damn cool. I like that. I'm curious to know how powerful that's going to make you. Like, how much damage you're actually going to be able to take wearing that. Because 15 kill streak is... That's a lot of fucking kills. It better be pretty damn cool. Next up is the support kill streak class. And this is going to be by far the most overpowered for sure. I really can't see this not being the most overpowered kill streak set up to run if you're going for team play, winning, that kind of stuff. First of all, they don't reset on death. Now, from my understanding, this means you can kill someone, die, kill someone, die, do that 18 times, and get Juggernaut Recon. Now, that seems really overpowered, especially to me, because I'm one of those people that I can get three or four kills no problem every single time. But I have a really hard time getting those 9 and 11 kill streaks in Black Ops. Also, the kill streaks themselves look really good. You have things like Blackbirds, UAV, Counter UAV, Ballistic Vest that looks pretty cool. Uh, ballistic Vest for your entire team. I I'm sure that's probably going to work like like Juggernaut, just like a worse version. Uh, recon Drones. I don't know. It just looks... It's going to be overpowered, especially with the uh, deaths not resetting your kill streak. That's that's kind of silly almost. Why are they even called kill streaks? Next up is specialist and there's really not too much information on this particular kill streak setup, but from my understanding, you're basically just going to turn into a super soldier the more kills you get. So you kill you kill two people, you get a perk. Kill four people, you get another perk. Kill six people, you get another perk. Basically, you're just going to be able to run around with all the perks and just be totally nuts with everything. I'm not really sure what the bottom line means. Uh, maybe you can get three kill streaks. I, I don't really know exactly what that means. If someone has more information on this, post it in the comments below because specialist kind of confuses me a little bit. And now we've got death streaks, and I kind of think these are a little bit retarded. Even when I first started playing Call of Duty, I'm a uh, I'm a Black Ops noob. I started playing in Black Ops. I didn't die four times in a row. I I honestly don't even remember when I died four times in a row. I I don't recall hardly ever doing. I, even if I have done that, I don't even know. Anyway, if you get killed four times in a row, five times in a row, you get a perk. Uh, I'm not really sure how this is going to work. I, I kind of have a bad feeling people are going to die five times in a row just to get stopping power. Uh, Dead Man's Hand looks pretty interesting. You have C4 in your hand and you run around and kill yourself, I guess. Uh, other than that, you know, they don't really look that cool, but I do have a bad feeling people are just going to die five times in a row, get stopping power, and then go for their big kill streaks or and do something retarded like that. Now it's time to check out the perks. I really like the perks in Modern Warfare 3. They look really cool. Uh, you got just the standard ones that everyone knows about. I love that the grenade launcher takes up perk 1. I love the claymore takes up perk 1. Those are two things I absolutely fucking hate. And I'm glad that it, you're going to have to really suffer for using them. I'm kind of bummed out that Marathon isn't a first perk because I really like sprinting around forever. That's always fun. But... I don't know. I'm not really that sad about it. I'm most likely going to be using Flak Jacket or Bandolier. Those look like the two best perks to me, but it's all personal preference. Now on to the second set of perks, and these are probably going to be really controversial because they're bringing back Stopping Power, Juggernaut, uh, uh, Sleight of Hand isn't going to be, um, isn't going to affect aiming down sights anymore, Sleight of Hand Pro won't anyway, and they're bringing Sleight of Vision, which is going to be the replacement for Sleight of Hand Pro, the little effect 
basically you're going to be able to aim down the sights faster and the big one Slight of Vision Pro is going to allow you to aim down the sight quicker with a sniper rifle and I think you guys know what that means don't know if that means quick scoping is going to be back back in business I I have a feeling that's what it's going to mean um <laughs> oh that should be interesting and out of these perks I think stopping power and juggernaut are the two that look the best for me, the two that I'll most likely use. I'll probably use Juggernaut more than Stopping Power just to be the guy that runs Flak Jacket and Juggernaut and is just unkillable and be that douche that just sits in the same spot that you just keep fragging and doesn't ever die. Now on the third set of perks and keep in mind that none of these, uh, anything I'm saying in this isn't like guaranteed it's going to make it in the game because I've heard a lot of people tell me that Last Stand isn't in Modern Warfare 3 and a lot of the websites I checked say it is so no one really knows, it's all speculation, it's all, you know, no one knows 100% what's actually going to make it in the game live when it comes out. But I did find Recon Pro to be interesting. No holding your breath with a sniper when you're prone. So you can just have your reticle be 100% still when you're sniping. Uh, I don't know about that, I don't think sniping needs that. Maybe maybe the quicker down the site, I think that... You know, I, I I don't know if that'll actually, uh, how long that'll actually stay that way in the game. Because I know especially for PC sniping, like, that's going to be nuts. Like, there's just going to be people, pow, 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 and then just everyone's going to die. I think I'll most likely be using eavesdrop. I just ordered some Astro A40s. Uh, those those things are beast. I've, I have, <laughs> I've heard so many great things about them. I can't wait to get them. And, uh, yeah, I'm most likely going to be running eavesdrop, being a try-hard sound whoring people. But it should be pretty fun. I think Free Runner is a pretty, uh, pretty good perk. I wish they would include making, like, your animations faster, not, like, reloading. But, like, say you put down a Claymore. I hate how long it takes, especially in Black Ops. When you put down a Claymore, it takes, like, half an hour to get your gun out. Or you, and you can't put down a Claymore and then knife someone right away. That just pisses me off so much. I've died so many, so many times to things like that. Now on to Proficiency. And basically, this is just a perk for the particular gun category you're using. Uh, assault rifles have their own, submachine guns have their own, light machine guns have their own. Uh, I'm pretty sure snipers are probably going to have their own. And basically, they're, they're for the most part, they're all the same thing, except uh, submachine guns get melee, which is going to be pretty OP. Faster melee is awesome. And I'm looking at these proficiencies, and all of them look pretty balanced. I think faster melee might be, you know, that, that's pretty that's pretty powerful, pretty annoying. But I don't know, I think they're all they're all pretty balanced from what I see right here. And here's the gun list from Modern Warfare 3. They're bringing back a lot of people's favorite guns. Not going to go over all these guns, obviously, because that would take forever. But they're bringing back the AK-47, the SCAR. A lot of people's favorite guns that are, uh, you know, people really like, they're bringing them back. No AK-74U. A lot of people were bummed out about that, but I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I have the AK-47. Now it's, that's my favorite gun in Black Ops, and I'm sure they're not going to change it up too much. Now to get you guys hyped up a little bit, I'm going to play the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer reveal trailer.
And that'll do it for this episode of Gamers Digest. Hope you guys enjoyed this Call of Duty themed Gamers Digest. And sorry for it just being about Call of Duty, but honestly, that dominated the news this week. Uh, that, that's basically all that all these gaming websites were talking about is Call of Duty XP. I mean, there wasn't really too much else to report on. Dead Island came out. I'm playing that. It's a great game. I'd, I'd recommend picking it up if you're into zombie killing games or just into good games in general. And I'm sure this video is going to get trolled quite a bit because every time I look at a Modern Warfare 3 video, it's just like, this is the same game. And I, I don't know. Honestly, it's, it, I see Call of Duty like Madden or NCAA. It's the same game. They just make improvements to it. You buy it. It's awesome. It's, it's the same thing. But I will for sure be playing Battlefield 3, gonna be making videos about that, gonna be making videos about Call of Duty, they're both great games. I'm gonna play Call of Duty when I run around, wanna run around like Superman, kill the shit out of everyone, when I wanna play tactically and be super realistic, I'm gonna play Battlefield. Anyway, getting a little bit off topic here, this week I'm gonna be giving away a Razer Megalodon, and I'm not giving away a new Razer Megalodon, I'm actually giving away my old Razer Megalodon. I'm actually upgrading to some Astro A40s, if you aren't familiar with Astro, they make awesome headsets they're they're really really pricey but you get what you pay for it it's good stuff uh the megalodon's a great headset too this one's basically it's in really good condition the only thing that's messed up with it a little bit is the wire twists up a little bit and sometimes when it twists up too much the sound gets staticky but that's just as easy as untwisting the wire and then you're you're good to go uh it's got great 7.1 surround sound it's not 100 percent 7.1 it's a little bit of uh the electronic simulated 7.1 I guess that's how you'd say it it's a good headset great for Call of Duty great for anything you want to do with it um, yeah so I'm gonna give this away all you have to do to win this is thumbs up favorite and comment on this video and also be sure to have me in your other channels tab on your channel and that'll wrap up this episode of Gamers Digest hope you guys enjoyed